Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take another deep breath in and exhale. One more deep breath in and exhale. Allow your energy now to center, settle in the center, the core of your being. As you exist in this core of your being, you're safe. The core of your being is behind the breastbone and between the breastbone and the spine. This is a place of safety. This is a place of comfort, a place of strength. So from this place of strength, allow your awareness now to go to the bottoms of your feet. There are energy portals at the bottoms of your feet. <laughs> Angels calling. <laughs> As you're aware of the bottoms of your feet, there are energy portals there that will open like the eye of a camera. As they open, any unwanted energy can drain out like dirty bath water. Don't need to carry it anymore. So that could be energy of sorrow or loss or distress, discouragement. Just let that go. You don't need to carry that anymore. As that continues to just drain away, it's heavier energy than the energy that you really are. You really are this loving presence of light. And so this heavier energy just naturally falls away from you. You don't really have to think about it or work on it. Just acknowledge that you can let it go, and it does. And now bring your attention to the top of your head. There's an energy portal there. This is where our willingness resides. So as you become aware of that, that will open. And this opens you to being willing. And there are more energy portals over your head that connect you in different ways to divine source, whatever that is for you. So as you connect in, as you become willing, those other portals open for you. And this living light of love pours down into the top of your head. Beautiful, sparkling, loving light. Allow it to touch your mind. And as it touches your mind, allow this bright light of energy, this healing, loving presence to awaken you spiritually to higher levels, deeper levels, more expansive levels of awareness. Letting that Living light, touch your eyes, touch the discernment centers above your eyebrows and your third eye that resides between your eyes. Allowing you to see and perceive clearly. This allows you to move beyond your own perceptions and see clearly. Moving beyond your own judgments or expectations moving into a state of childlike wonder and curiosity. Letting more and more love and light fill your ears and your throat, your mouth. This allows you to speak your truth with grace and kindness and love. It allows you to hear other people as they speak their truth, even if it's not your truth. And just allow it to be. And it allows you to walk your truth clearly. Letting more and more love and light flow into your shoulders. We carry a lot of tension in our shoulders, so you might want to roll your shoulders. Release that tension. Where we hold tension, energy cannot flow. And as we relax and release that, then more energy flows. And with this energy, this living light of love flows even more fully into your physical form. Letting that energy flow down into your hands, through your arms, down into your hands. Your hands may feel warm and tingly. 
part of the process. Letting more and more love and light fill your torso. Let this living love, this liquid energy of light, touch every organ, every system, every fiber, every tissue, every cell of your body, even down into your DNA. Allowing this energy to bring you clarity, restore your health, and regenerate your energy fields. From this place of healing, allow more and more love and light to flow down into your legs and down into your feet. And now let it go through that portal that was in the bottoms of your feet so that you are bringing, you are a vessel of light, a conduit of light, bringing light from those higher realms through your body into this earth. And you're anchoring this living light of love into this earth plane. Feels good to be that conduit of light. Allow this healing energy to translate itself out into the community, bringing healing and joy. Now close the bottoms of your feet and you're a vessel of light. More and more love and light pouring in from the top of your head. And let that love and light fill your physical form and flow over out into your energy field around your body, your aura. And as this vessel of light, let's take a little walk. Allow yourself to find your way onto a pathway. It's a beautiful pathway on a beautiful fall day. The trees are turning. Some leaves have fallen and some are still on the trees. The sun is warm. It's just a beautiful day. Notice how blue the sky is. Notice how bright the light is. Notice how fresh the air feels. It's a place of renewal here. And you can receive that renewal as you walk. And now imagine that you find your way to a little stream And there's either a fallen log or a rock or maybe some moss and you decide to sit for a moment. And as you're sitting here in this place, you recognize that this is a sacred place, a blessed place. And as you're sitting here, call to yourself an angel of comfort, a blue angel. And you may or you may not see the presence of this blue angel, but you will have a sense of its presence. You may, in fact, be able to see this blue angel. It may look like an angel, it may look like a human being. It can take many different forms. Have a sense of the comfort this angel brings to you. And know that this presence, this comfort, is available to you at all times. It is sent from the realms of love and you have access to it. And now ask for an angel of light, a luminary angel, to come to you. There may be a situation that you could use a little more clarity about. Ask this angel of light to come to you and bring light into that situation. Bring light into your awareness about that. 
And hopefully within the next three days, you will have that illuminating experience that will bring you more information or bring you a deeper understanding. So be open to the experience of feeling this yellow light, this yellow angel, sometimes golden. And the presence is of wanting you to understand of bringing clarity, truth. And now ask for an angel of mercy to attend you. We request angelic presence. We don't order them. That's disrespectful. So we can request their presence. And as you request the presence of this angel who can uphold, uplift, support, and strengthen you, ask to be made aware of the strength and the great love and compassion for you that is here for you. And as you're feeling the presence of these angels, you recognize that there may be others that are here for you. Just be with that for a moment. Beautiful to feel that loved because indeed you are loved. When you took on the breath of life, you took on a huge challenge. And for that, the angelic realms have great honor for you. And they don't care if you win or lose or fail or succeed or make a mistake. Because to them it's not a mistake. You are not a mistake. You are a powerful act of God and a blessing in this physical realm. And they're here to support and encourage and strengthen you in whatever way they can. So that you can do what you came here to do. Whatever that might be. And as you're sitting here, you recognize that there's a fallen leaf nearby. And perhaps there's something, a worry or concern or a judgment that you've made about yourself that makes you feel less than love and light that you are. You can put that worry, that concern, that judgment on that leaf and allow that leaf to just place that into that little stream and the stream will carry that away. Allowing more and more love to flow through you, recognizing that it is the love in the stream that carries that concern away from you. Because it's merely a concern and not the truth. And as you watch that leaf, as it flows away from you and dissipates, (coughs) disappears down the road, you notice that there is something right there at the brook, right there at the stream for you. Perhaps it's in the water, perhaps it's near the water, but you recognize it as a gift from divine source for you to assist you right here, right now. Perhaps it's a word or a thought or a feeling. Perhaps it's a symbolic object. Even if you don't know what it means, pick it up and receive it now. Receive it with gratitude. And from that sense of gratitude, that sense of being aware of these divine, this divine love for you, and it manifesting in the form of these angelic presence, you have deep gratitude that asks you or invites you to leave a gift here. Perhaps it's a word or a thought or a feeling, or perhaps a symbolic object, even if you don't understand what the symbolic object might be. Whatever you feel is appropriate, whatever feels comes to you as right in this moment, is right in this moment. And leave that gift here.
And with that giving of the gift and the receiving of the gift, you're welcome to invite the angels to walk with you. Or you know that you can come back and meet with them here at any time. (coughs) Or know that any time that you ask for them, they're there. Any time that you need them, they're there. You're not alone. You are loved deeply and honored deeply. And with that awareness, allow yourself to walk back through the pathway, through the beautiful fall day, back into this time and space, back into your physical form. You might want to take a deep breath. Exhale. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Welcome back. That was kind of a quite a bit of a journey, so it may take you a minute to return.